All right, and welcome. Today we're going to have a quick look at the <coughs> Alien Covenant Neomorph with Toddler. Um, this is a cracker. I ordered it online at Forbidden Planet International, as I do all my pops. Uh, and it has just arrived today, so I'm going to get it out. Thought I'd do a wee quick unboxing, because um, actually I'm dying to see this out. I've not seen one out. I've stayed away from any kind of reviews online. Um, on it, so I just want to look at it myself. So let's have a look at the box. So, as you can see, Alien Covenant number 431. It's a Neomoth with Toddler. So you get him there, and then this little guy in the back. Picture there, and then the toddler on the side. On the side, we have a picture of them both. Pop movies. And on the back, other ones within the line. So, out of these ones, I do have the Xenomorph. They have the blood splattered version of it, the exclusive one. And I'm not really interested in David or Daniels. But I would like to try and get Orm. Today I'm going to display the Neomorph, the Xenomorph, my alien queen and Ripley together. I think that would be nice to have the, the base hugger one as well. So... And there's the top of the box and bottom. Alright, so let's get this bad boy out. And there he is out of the box with the toddler. I'm calling him a he because he looks like one. <laughs> then again, it should be a she if he's got a, she's got a toddler. But looking at it, it's quite deceiving in the box, the package, the are both kind of face like this. For some reason the wee one does not stand up. But we'll look at that one in a minute. Just need to be a wee heat up, I think, and fix the tail on them. Okay. But looking at them both standing in the box like that, you don't actually realise how deep the head is on both of them, which I was quite surprised at when I brought them out there. But let's have a look at them. So, from the head, as you can see, you've got the kind of white colour with a kind of dark kind of dry brushing or whatever that is on top. This bit here, I'm not sure if that's meant to be there, um, although it's coming off when I'm rubbing it there, so it's all right. But it does kind of add to the effect there. Um, the mouth as well, wide open. It's good they actually sculpted in there so you can, it looks like a proper mouth. Arms, no articulation at all in any of it, apart from a slight one on the head. But let's look at it. The mould of this, the mould of the head, love it, absolutely love it. And there's the body, kind of similar to an alien body, but obviously this one, standing upright, so he is. He's using his tail to kind of balance on there. But look at the detail on the back. You've got the big kind of horns and spikes or whatever you like to call them. Nice big tail. Big feet as well. As you can see as well, they've got done the kind of dry brushing, the kind of greyish over the top of it. Um, I actually like the fact the teeth and the gums kind of protrude out a bit more than the lips itself. Um, I like that and I like the, f I don't know if it's just me, but I like the fact that they've done them pure white and not gave them any kind of dirt wash on them. Yeah, so looking at that, I'm actually really pleased with that one. And then we've got this wee bad boy. Let's see, I don't know if it's focused properly. So looking at him up close. His mouth is just a wee indent. Kind of paint on it, but he's just done exactly the same, similar with the long head, the kind of white with the overtone of dry brushing, kind of brown or grey, whatever colour that is. Um, so I'm going to move him out of the way because it keeps trying to focus on him. Let's see, yeah, that's better. And again, with this body as well, for being so small, look at the detail in there as well. Detail is incredible. I mean, that's the one thing about Funko, they certainly, as the newer ones are coming out, the more detail in them is unreal. So this one's a cracker, this one is actually really good. And instead of on the feet as well, obviously you can't print on the feet. they printed, I don't know if we'll pick this up, oh, on the back of the head there. So, 
They are actually really good. Really, really impressed with these two. My only problem is the wee guy. Doesn't, the toddler does not stand up. Um, I don't know if I'll just need to reposition the tail. Heat that up, reposition the tail. I don't want to pull at it now because it looks kind of fragile. But I suppose if I'm displaying them like that. There we go. All right, so if you liked it, thumbs up, please subscribe. Any comments, by all means, hit me up. I'll speak to you back. Um, if you didn't like it, apologies, guys. And take care out there. All right, and remember, there's need loving too. Ciao.